Hi, and welcome to a series of episodes dedicated to giving you a comprehensive understanding of how fats are produced and stored within your body. In this presentation, I will be given a brief introductory overview of the metabolic pathway known as lipogenesis, which is responsible for fatty acid production. As part of the presentation, I will be answering a number of key questions such as What is lipogenesis? Which foods, if eaten in excess, cause this process to occur? What is the role of the liver? What is the input and starting material for this process? And finally, where does lipogenesis occur within liver cells? Fatty acid synthesis, also known as lipogenesis, is defined as the synthesis of fatty acids from non-lipid food sources, most commonly relating to carbohydrate-rich foods. More importantly, lipogenesis occurs during the consumption of excessive amounts of such foods. Once consumed, these foods are broken down by the process of digestion, a majority of which occurs in the small intestine to release glucose which is subsequently absorbed into the bloodstream and transported to the liver. Once within the liver, glucose is converted into glucose 6-phosphate, which in the presence of insulin is used to produce the branch chain storage polysaccharide known as glycogen through the metabolic process termed glycogenesis. Now, it is only once glycogen storage capacity has been maxed out, which equates to around 100 grams, that the liver begins to divert its efforts into the production of fatty acids via lipogenesis. Based on this, any further glucose 6-phosphate formed from glucose entering the liver is no longer stored in the form of glycogen, but rather oxidized through the metabolic process known as glycolysis to give pyruvate. The pyruvate is then shuttled from the cytosol and into the matrix of mitochondria. Within the matrix, the pyruvate is decarboxylated to give carbon dioxide. It is then combined with coenzyme A to give the common intermediate of the metabolism known as acetyl-CoA, which also happens to be the input and starting material for fatty acid synthesis. Now, there are a number of hurdles that need to be overcome in order for fatty acids to be synthesized from acetyl-CoA. First of all, fatty acid synthesis occurs in the cytosol and not within the matrix. But acetyl-CoA, as you have seen, is produced in the matrix of mitochondria. Based on this, fatty acid synthesis can only begin once acetyl-CoA is transported out of the matrix and into the cytosol. Secondly, the inner mitochondrial membrane is impermeable to most substances, including acetyl-CoA. In order to overcome both these issues, the metabolism has come up with a very smart transport system that I'm about to discuss in my next episode. So please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when this is released. Finally, if you found this presentation to be useful, please click like. Thank you for listening.